Hey, big thanks to Bluefin Brands on this one. Check them out in the description, as well as links as to where you can pick this one up. Dragon Ball Horror Kaiju and more. Steven Story Reviews. Hey there, collectors, it is Steven here. I'm bringing you another superhero review. We're gonna take a look at something real special from Sentinel, the SV Action. I wonder what SV stands for, huh? Anyway, it's a Spider-Verse figure, the SV Action Miles Morales from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Now, this figure just recently got reissued, and oh boy, is this one causing a little bit of a ruckus. Why? Well, we have Miles Morales in what is arguably his most iconic appearance. Yes, I know we do have the PS5 game and we have the introduction comic and all that, but let's be real here. Spider-Verse, yeah, it's really popular. And we have this figure, which was brought over to the US by Bluefin Brands, which by the way, they named this their favorite figure of 2021. So there's a lot riding on this review. Is this one actually going to be swinging up real high with the legends of Marvel? Or is it going to be on the streets and someone needs to come by and pick up the trash? Let's take a look to see whether or not Miles Morales is going to be worth adding into your collection. If you're kind of not sort of familiar with how Miles came to be in the Spider-Verse universe, <clears throat> he gets basically a Spider-Man costume and he paints it himself. So when you're taking a look at this figure in terms of quality control, something may just sort of really stand out to you where some of the red on Miles is actually going to look a little faded in some spots. It kind of looks like maybe not masked 100% correctly, almost as if the spray that they were using on the hands in specific Looks like maybe it was running out to the end, but then you realize it's accurate. And that's what makes it even cooler. So overall, in terms of sculpt, I do think that a unique aspect of this particular figure when it comes to Miles Morales is that he's got a lot of hair and obviously he's gonna be wearing a mask of some kind. I, I don't know, is that actually a mask? I, I don't know what you would call that considering it covers the entire head and not just the face. Anyway, we do actually have a little bit of bump where his hair would be on this particular figure. We do have sculpt, which is honestly really, I think the most impressive thing about this figure. Yes, we're going to take a look at the articulation. We're going to take a look at the accessories, which are equally as impressive. But for the sculpt here, we have really, really well-defined muscles. And I don't know if it's just that I haven't really paid attention, but I don't know if I've seen that level of care put into the musculature on a figure before. We have clearly defined thigh muscles. We have clearly defined areas in the chest. I mean, just take a look at the pictures that you're seeing right up here in front of you. Oh, and we do have the spider on his chest and on his back. That equally looks as drippy as the rest of the paint applications on Miles here. Yeah, overall, I do have to say that in the looks department, is this necessarily one-to-one -one accurate with what was in the movie? I can't really say that because I don't have the files in front of me, but what I can say is that he's really good and faithful to the origins. You know what? I kind of like this guy. You want to know why we have a very small frame here and we have a lot of joints that folks say are mm, possibly not aesthetically pleasing or uh, not possible on a smaller figure or a thin frame. Bam. He can do it. There are also some very different joint choices, which uh, I do think actually works out. So let's talk about what we have going on here. So first and foremost, the head plugs in on a ball joint. So you can see real easy to pop off. He's going to have some extra head parts. So that'll be fun to take a look at. As you can see, it's a barbell style or double axis ball joint. So this way, just based off of that alone, you can get miles to look up about that far down that far left and right. And then this next sculpt is going to plug into the body on a ball joint as well. So wow, he can look down looking up I would have thought maybe he could have done that just a little bit more, but even still, when we have, I'll talk about it now, the ab crunch, oh yeah, he can look up just fine. And he can spin around, spin around, Spider-Man. I shouldn't sing, that's why I play guitar horribly. Anyway, waist joint is going to be a ball joint. He can bend forward that far, bend back that far, rock from side to side. So overall, when it comes to which way you want Miles to look, yes. Shoulder joints, this is where the cool part comes into play, right? So normally on some figures, you would have like a ball joint that plugs in, it's gonna be on a butterfly hinge, you can move it around, it's gonna have hinges. Well, the ball joints for the shoulders are meant to pop off, but that's literally what it is. He has shoulder ball joints. Now, these allow him to T-pose with pretty much no issues, right? 
He can spin his arm pretty much all the way around because of straps. Whoops. He's going to have a little bit of a cut outward, just a smidge, just a smidge, but he can put his arms all the way straight back. Uh, yeah, the just normal ball joint shoulders work really well. He can rock forward and back. I mean, yeah, very good. We have a dedicated bicep swivel, so that's good. They didn't have to hide the bicep swivel anywhere else. Not like uh, in the elbows, which have double hinges. Works perfectly fine. Uh, though, we will have a little bit of a swivel there for the elbow hinge where it plugs into the bicep, but you're not really going to need to use that. For the wrists, just so this way we can kind of get that out of the way, they're going to be on straightforward pegs. They don't have a hinge system or anything else, so they're just going to be swivels. And that is how you're going to swap out the hand parts, which you'll see in just a minute. All right, let's talk about down below. Hips, ball joints, and when they plug in, they're going to have swivels for the thigh. So, Miles can kick that far forward when we're talking about just the default legs. And back, just normally swinging back, uh, he's going to have some sculpt that gets in the way. But if you kick the leg out to the side a little bit, you can do that. For sort of the splits, if you will, Miles is going to be able to do that unless you turn the swivel, then you can kind of do that too. Double hinge knees, ankles, they're going to plug into the bottom of the leg part there on a swivel. We're going to have a hinge. And then they plug into the foot on a swivel as well to get ankle rocker movement. Toe hinge. So for articulation, um, <laughs> Miles is really fun. Uh, usually whenever I take a look at action figures, um, you know, sometimes you have figures where, yeah, these are fun to move. Uh, more often than not recently, um, I've had some where I can't really keep them in my review area. I'm thinking like the Monster Arts Kong 2021, and now this one, um, along with Majin Buu, Evil Buu, uh, where if I have them in my review area, I have to take them out because if they're there for too long, I'm just going to keep fiddling with them. So Miles is really fun to fiddle with. Uh, you can put them in a ton of fun poses. The only thing that I would say is that, you know, we can get a little bit more movement out of the hands like uh, hinges so we can have them move in and out kind of like this. That would be great. Now, as you will see in the next section, he is going to come with some other clothing, right? He's going to come with a jacket and different pants and so on and so forth. That will change up his articulation, but not a whole lot. All right. So don't worry. Even when he changes clothes, Miles can still move. All right, it's time to talk about accessories, and wow, Miles comes with a lot, so I'm going to have to hit the ground running, talk about stuff, and then kind of move on. So if I don't spend a whole lot of time talking about your favorite accessory, I'm sorry, but just a look at everything that he comes with here. So Miles is going to come with two alternate head sculpts. He's going to come with a whole bunch of alternate hands. He's going to come with an alternate set of clothing. Oh, wow. He's going to come with some webbing parts. He's going to come with a hammer, headphones, cell phone, and he's going to come with a spray can. So Miles is going to come with an alternate dedicated right hand. So this way he can hold his cell phone. And he's going to also going to come with four other sets of left and right hands. So this way he can do poses and hold his accessories, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at those alternate head sculpts. Miles is going to come with another masked head sculpt, masked if you will, I don't know what else you would call that, where we do have a confused Spider-Man. You don't know what a confused Spider-Man looks like? Well, here, here you go. It's your first look at one. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Now, Miles is also going to come with an unmasked head sculpt. Now, there are some other companies out there that for some reason, they are only making their characters with a face or eyes where they are looking off to one side, okay? Whether it's going to be extremely left or extremely right. Here for Miles, he does have a very subtle look off to the right effect going on here, but realistically speaking, if you have him looking dead on or just maybe slightly tilting over to the right, he looks fine. So here, I do like the expressiveness, but I do think that uh, it's not really going to be that big of an issue if you just want Miles up on the shelf looking dead ahead, not going to be a problem. Now, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the individual small accessories that Miles is going to come with. Don't worry, we'll take a look at the whole picture in just a minute. So Miles is going to come with that alternate hand part, so this way he can hold his cell phone, which is going to be used here. Now, if you zoom in real up close, Unfortunately, you can't really see who he's talking to. Wish there would have been a small Easter egg, but honestly, at this size, 
that's totally fine. Miles is going to come with the spray paint can so this way he can go out and cause trouble or make some really awesome artwork. I guess it depends on how you look at things. No real quality control issues here. Everything is looking rather rock solid. He is going to come with the headphones, obviously, and these are only going to fit over the Spider-Man masked heads. So you can try with the normal unmasked Miles head, but on mine, kind of didn't want to fit. And I felt like if I really kept trying to force it, these might break. So I didn't really want to see if I could go that far. Now he's going to come with the hammer as well. And the hammer is actually going to be all paint work. And it's actually pretty deceiving. Like if you run your fingernail over it, I really didn't feel any sort of etch marks. So yeah, this is how far in advance wood technology has come. Now, I will say that you are going to have to attach this and slide it into Miles' hand by removing the actual hammer top from the handle. Now, be careful with this because it is sculpted in such a way that the peg, yeah, you're, you're not going to be able to put a square peg into a round hole here. It's pre-sculpted. You're going to have to make sure that it fits correctly each time. So this way you don't break anything. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the web being that Miles comes with. All right. So he gets the web shooting hands, obviously. The webs here, they're stuck in there, so this way you cannot remove them, so this way Miles is just doing normally, like gesturing he's gonna shoot web. Uh, and the webbing is basically the same color as my backdrop, so I can't really get you up close and personal pictures of that. But trust me when I say, looks good. Now, whew, his other clothing. All right, so he's gonna come with a jacket, he's gonna come with two hoods, he's gonna come with shorts, and he's gonna come with shoes. Cool. How do you get them to wear this? Well, right out of the box, the arms are connected together on a peg with ball joints. You're just going to have to pop them off at the shoulders. And then they're going to have pegs in the wrist parts and the forearms. You just pop those off. The shorts, you are going to have to reuse the knees from the normal base Miles Morales figure. So there are going to be two pegs in the short pants, legs part, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. You're going to have to pull out. All right. You're with me. Cool. So to swap everything out, as you've been seeing here, you just remove the head very easy, and you pop the shoulders off at the arms. Then you slide the jacket portion over the torso of Miles, you attach a hood part, and then you attach one of the heads. Easy. Pop the arms in. Something to note, Miles will have his arms sticking out at an angle. You can't push them together real low onto the side like you could normally with Spider-Man. Now you're going to have to pop him apart the waist and pop him back together with these shorts parts. Now again, he is going to have the sculpt from the knee down have to be reused, so you're going to have to pop the knees off from the normal miles and pop them into the shorts part for the waist. <sighs> okay, I think you get what I'm saying here. Now, he is gonna come with his shoes as well. You can pop the feet off at the ankles and pop these new shoes on. And here's gonna be an up close and personal look kind of at everything that Miles is going to have. So this way you can get an idea of the quality control, which is rather consistent when we take a look at this figure. So kudos to Sentinel on that. Now of note, we do also get two different types of shoelaces, one where they're all nice and tied up in a bow and the other where they're loose. Now by default, they're I guess supposed to be loose as in pointing down towards the toe. However, if you kind of swap them because they are a little bit of a different sculpt, it does look like you can get them to point upwards towards the body when he's swinging around. So that would be pretty neat. Now, let's go ahead and round everything off and we'll take a look at the support stand that Miles comes with. So Miles' support stand that Sentinel included, it's going to be a square-ish base, okay? And there are going to be four strips of translucent plastic. You're going to have to pop them out. It can be a little bit difficult. I'm kind of struggling here just because I have to make sure everything's in frame and I have to really work to make sure I'm popping it off correctly and you can see it, blah, 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 blah. But once you do that, you're going to have the support stand in the arm. Now, at the base there, you're going to have to slide a piece of plastic off. This is sort of like a locking mechanism, okay? So then you just put the support arm in to one of those rail parts that you just revealed, slide that little piece of plastic back in, and you're good to go. And the arm is, in fact, articulated. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation once you put on the other clothing for Miles. So one of the things to really keep in mind here is that when you have the hood on, it is going to reduce the articulation for the head range just a little bit. Reason being is that if you keep moving around, you may unfortunately knock it off. Now the shoulders are going to pretty much be the same because as you saw, you just pop the arms off in order to slip the new arms on. And then we do have that hood, which may unfortunately pop off. So do keep that in mind. Also, because of the sculpt, it tends to more so go out in a V pattern instead of straight up and down. There's not really going to be a bicep swivel, except we will have that rotation at the ball joint in the shoulders, like without the jacket on. But we do get a little bit of a micro adjustment, if you will. 
with a swivel that's going to be for the double hinge in the elbow. The wrist articulation is pretty much going to remain the same. The torso articulation is pretty much going to be the same as well, though do note because he is wearing a jacket, he can't necessarily bend back as far as he would. Now for the hips, these kind of look like a 2.0 or a renewal style figure arts hip system. However, uh, it's just mostly going to be a ball joint system with a nice, clever little covering system that Sentinel used, which is actually really cool because the range of movement for the, the shorts, it actually still has a solid range of movement. When we get down to the actual legs in and of themselves, not the pants, if you will, the portion of the legs that are sticking out from the shorts, those are actually going to be plugged in on ball joints. I was actually able to take a look at this and please note that you cannot really remove the joint system from the bagged portion of the legs. Why? Well, there's actually a little tab that plugs in, so you're not going to be able to remove that joint. However, you can get the ball joint to move around if you need to disassemble like I did. Spoiler alert, you probably won't have to. Now, in terms of range for the knee hinge, here's it's going to look for the double knee hinge. And then for the ankles, pretty much the same, even with the shoes on. All right, now that we have a real in-depth look at all of the accessories, let's go ahead and just take a look at some quick action shots with some of those used all together. So this way you can get an idea of maybe some pictures you want to take with Miles. You want to work them in your collection one way or another. Here are some ideas that you just might have. So Miles overall for his hands, he's going to come with some really splayed out hands, which are really cool. And then he's going to have some splayed out hands, but the fingers are a bit closer together. He is also going to have some hands almost as if he's holding something small. I don't quite know how you would describe that. They're almost like chopping hands, but yeah, yeah. He's going to come with left and right fists and he's going to come with left and right hands. So this way he can hold on to the already shooted web or the hammer. So whew, that's a lot to cover. If I didn't focus in on one thing in specific long enough for you, I'm sorry, but you can go back and you can pause the video because there's a real lot to talk about here. And for the price point, which I believe is going to be about 88 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Sentinel did pack in everything that pretty much we could need, except for, I would argue two things. One, I would have liked to have seen another long web part. That would be really cool just so this way we can display Miles uh, swinging around with both webs fully extended. And then I would have liked to have seen a goober. There's no goober here. And it's not in the Peter B. Parker release either, I believe. So who's getting the goober? Gwen? I don't know. We'll see. But if you think you might need some other effect parts or some stands, you know I got videos to help you out. Now let's go ahead and roll on out to a size comparison so you can see how big Miles is going to be in his other clothing because this seems to make him look just a little bit bigger. Yes, his arms do go out to the side. That's just a thing that happens when he puts on the coat, just part of life. But overall, you can see that I do think that Miles does blend in really well with pretty much any collection, and I think he is very appropriately sized. So buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. Gotta hand it to him. I really wasn't thinking that this was going to be super duper over the top amazing when I took a look at the promotional pictures and I took a look at the price point. However, actually having this in hand, I do have to say that you do get the bang for your buck here. There's sort of one of those things, sayings, uh, what's it called? Um, quantity over quality. Uh, no, I've got it flipped. Quality over quantity. If you're looking for just one dedicated, really good Miles Morales figure, are there some minor flaws here? Yes, I do think that he should get a goober, and I do think that for the articulation, most specifically when it comes to uh, the hinges for the hands, I think that he should have that as well. But other than that, for the price point, if you want one super awesome, I would argue to say definitive Miles Morales, I mean, you're not going to have to get anything else. It's really good. Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now, you've heard a lot from me. I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up. Thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon, or some short URLs, like to my social media, or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand-selected for you, so if you want to watch another STR video, I hand-selected some good content for you to watch, so definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.